Where I'm standing was about two feet of water in 1986. And since then, the water has gone up and down, but mostly down. And so the water now is at a level that's five and a half feet lower than it was 20 years ago. And that exposed lakeshore provides perfect conditions for an invasion of Phragmites australis, an aggressive non-native grass. The Phragmites is spreading and sooner or later it'll take over the shoreline. And uh, you think you have a shoreline and pretty soon all you got is a wall of, 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 of Phragmites, eight, ten feet high. Uh, that's not very pleasant for a landowner and uh, it displaces uh, natural plants. So the DNR has put boots on the ground and copters in the air in a massive Phragmites removal project. In all, 3,600 acres of lakeshore in northeast Wisconsin will be treated. But today, crews are working on a unique habitat in Door County near Bailey's Harbor. Bridges Sanctuary is Wisconsin's oldest member-based nature preserve. Definitely the most biologically diverse area within the Midwest, hands down. We're known as a, uh, a wildflower sanctuary, and many birders here come here as well. In places like the ridges, that has a large diversity of native plants and small stands of Phragmites, crews use a backpack sprayer to selectively treat invasive plants while protecting native species. When we do backpack application, we also add a dye into our backpacks or um, our spray units. We add this dye as a marking so we know where we treat it. So we're not double treating the same area and putting more chemical on the ground than is necessary. Farther down the shoreline, there are bigger stands of Phragmites that require bigger equipment. We decide to aerial spray those areas that are thick, dense, hard to access, or monotypic, where there is over 95% of just Phragmites. The helicopter um, flies low, they fly slow. I provide him with shapefile GIS data that he uploads into his system and that is what controls how it is turned on and off. So he can get um, pretty good accuracy. With continued control, native vegetation can grow back. This project is a wonderful opportunity to um, manage and maintain the plant and habitat diversity that exists within these conservation opportunity areas and within the contiguous areas of the private property that exists between these um, state and, and other public lands. There's a lot of land out there that we want to target, that we want to treat. And it's not just public land this time. We're involving other lands as well. So instead of the department and the landowner, we're grouping up together to get this done. Together, we can control Phragmites and bring back Lake Michigan's valuable wetlands.